Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Heron. Good evening, Mr. Chair, members of the board, and Dr. Heron. Literally, my first sentence was, I'm Melissa White, proud principal of Stonehouse <laughs> Elementary School. <laughs> We're very excited to share with you tonight our focus on student-led conferences at Stonehouse. Um, Student-led conferences are directly, let, directly tied to our WJCC strategic plan and indicators 1.14 with developing a model for student portfolios, and 1.15 in establishing a division-wide student goal-setting model. Our third grade teachers, Mrs. Gayton and Mrs. Hill, excitedly took on this initiative last year and piloted it in a smaller arena and are expanding upon it this year, so we are excited to share this with you. In student-led conferences, the students are responsible for setting their own goals and they take ownership in their learning. There are multiple ways to do this, but there are five key factors to keep in mind when setting goals with children. First, the goal has to be clear. I will increase my DRA level from a 30 to a 34 in a nine-week period. Second, the goal is challenging but attainable. They have to believe that they can achieve it. Third, the student's committed and they're determined to reaching that goal because they helped create it. Fourth, it takes time, and the tasks that are necessary to complete the goal are understood ahead of time. And fifth, the students receive feedback to help track their progress along the way. As you're gonna see and hear in a few moments, student-led conferences are focused on the individual student, their goals, their progress, and their accomplishments. In short, it's all about individualism, our focus this school year. Thank you. 
consult your review. Yes. Good evening. I'm Carmen Gayton and this is Lisa Hill. Thank you for having us tonight. Last year was our first year that we held student-led conferences in our classroom. We received positive feedback from parents and students regarding those conferences. Students love being able to share their successes as well as their struggles with their parents. This year, Mrs. Hill and I decided to have a students play a role in our parent-teacher conferences this week in order to help them identify their goal for the school year. This allowed the parent, the teacher, and the student to work together to come up with a goal that would be attainable that the student could work on throughout the year. Our students are ultimately responsible for maintaining their own portfolio. Therefore, we push them to take the lead as much as possible and collect artifacts throughout the year so that way later, at the end of the year, they can meet with their parents to discuss if they reached their goal. Good evening. I am a parent. My daughter is Riley sitting over there. Um, being part of the student-led conference this year was very exciting for me. Riley, she was fully involved in identifying all of her strengths and her areas of opportunity. And this allowed her to create a goal and create an action plan and give her a sense of ownership. For me, with the busy life that I have and so many other parents have, Having the student-led conference kind of forced me to sit down and really be fully engaged with my daughter and everything that she was learning and what her goals were. The conference was no longer just a list of to-dos that the teacher and I would come up with and then I'd go home and regurgitate to my child. It then became a collaborative effort where Riley was able to set her own goals, confidently knowing that her teacher and I would be able to support her. Riley's teacher is very approachable and she's a great communicator. And I wanna thank her for making this just such a great experience. And I hope that moving forward, we can do the student-led conferences. I had my first parent, student, and teacher conference last Friday. I was excited, but I was also a little nervous because I didn't know what to expect and I was worried I did poorly on something. Instead, we talked about how I need to have more confidence in my math abilities and not second guess myself. We reviewed my report card in areas I can improve. Then we created a goal together. My goal is to score 100 on multiplication using extra math. I wanted to do division two, but we decided I should focus on multiplication first. To reach my goal, I'm going to practice using flashcards and do problem, problem, at practice problems at home with my parents. I'm I'm excited to reach my goal. I had my first parent, student, teacher conference last Friday. I was nervous and scared because my parents, parents and teacher were going to talk about me in front of me. It turned out good. He talked about how I need to write more during writing time. I got, I set goals for me to, for myself to write more sentences during writing time. To reach my goals, my to reach my goals, my teacher is getting me a special writing journal. I am excited to reach my goals.
Good evening. Good evening. I'm Danielle McGill. My son Stevie was in Mrs. Gaten's class last year, so he's a fourth grader this year. I had the pleasure of sitting down with him at the end of the school year in the third grade, um, going through all of the data that he had collected throughout the year. And to be completely honest, I can't remember his goals from last year. <laughs> that was a long time ago, and they change so often. But what I can remember is sitting outside in the pod, uh, waiting for him to collect all of his stuff and get the desk ready for me, and um, watching him come out with that confidence and that maturity and say, Mommy, I'm ready for you. And it was just really neat to, to go in and sit down at his desk and, and see all of his all of his work, everything that he had put together and what and his phase training program that he had put together and um, and just just see all of the work that he had done throughout the year and just to know that he had done that and just to see that that pride and and um, at, that part for me was was the most important part rather than the goals themselves. It was just seeing that confidence in him. I hadn't I hadn't really seen that in him prior to that, and I've seen it continuously since then. So I think it's a great program.